fantastic news that's just been announced that we're going to Rio and yeah, it's been a little surreal the last few weeks but now the announcement's out and it's just fantastic and it's sort of finally starting to sink in. We've got a little bit of the kit and everyone here is just really buzzing and it's an sort of amazing feeling. It's just a dream come true really. It's, um, it's been a really kind of tough 12 months that we've been working towards this goal and so to achieve it at the end is just it's so exciting and I think eventually it'll start to feel real I'm sure but it'll be one of them things I'll look back on and just be so proud of. Olympics was always a dream because it was something that I watched growing up but I don't think it felt real until even maybe the start of qualifying this year when we actually went okay we're, we're doing this we're going for this and so as much as you dream it you maybe don't know that you can actually actually can do it and so it's kind of these two years are proof that that is possible. And myself and Lauren, we've been together now coming up to three years. So, um, yeah, we're really finding our form and especially now we've actually been, we've been able to train a sort of solid block and then leading up to Rio, we've got another good five weeks before it, um, which is great because of all the tournaments we've been playing, we haven't been able to necessarily get the training in. But on the other hand, with all the competitions, we've been able to sort of really understand each other and work, see what works well for us. Our hopes for the tournament is mainly just to perform as best we can. We're going in a little bit as the underdogs, um, so that means we can really just sort of go out, enjoy ourselves and see how we can challenge the top pairs in the world. We're just going to go out there and give it everything we can. We want to enjoy it, but you only enjoy playing well really, don't you? So um, I'll always be trying to win. <laughs>